Good morning everybody. So we're here on a job. We did the house floor a couple weeks ago. We're back to do the garage today. It's a 32 by 44 garage. Guy wanted it just flat because he's gonna he's gonna I don't know he's gonna build work on cars in here or build build cars in here. He wanted a nice flat floor. So just giving him a four inch thick flat concrete floor. 3500 psi mixed with mid-range fiber mesh. We're gonna get right at it. We got two trucks. We got about 19 yards here today. Here we go. We're gonna back him right in the door too. So. That's why we left one of the forms off. Just make it a little bit easier to tailgate this rather than shoot over the wall. Where'd you get some new boots? Flesh shoes. Uh, oh, they are? Yeah, he brought them home. <laughs> I got new ones too. Oh, nice. <laughs> Hey guys, Mike here. So as you can see, it's important that we wear rubber boots in the concrete so our feet don't get burns on them and they don't get wet. Now, I've been having trouble finding a really good pair of boots that, that last and are comfortable. And let me, let me show you the struggle I've been having right here with the type of boots I've been wearing. So I've been wearing these boots, tinglys on my feet, so I'm pouring in the concrete. And what happens with these after a couple months is, if you look at the bottom here, they... Just after a couple months, this happens, they crack like that. See that hole right there? So the bottoms get these cracks in them. And then what happens is after after you pour, you know, if you want to take a look at my saw, you can see my foot is, not only does it have cement on it, which can cause burns, but it's soaked too. So we're going to try a different boot, see how that works out, and I'll let you know. So Roger over at HiC.com, who a company that sells waterproof boots, saw me wearing these boots and he had a set he wanted me to try and compare to the ones I have been wearing. So he sent me this set right here and I just want to show you real quick so you can check them out. All right, so we're going to try some new boots today from HiC.com. They sent me these boots to try after they saw my other ones had a crack in them. If you remember, right, they cracked down here, but these ones, these ones seem really, really nice. And if you look, lifetime warranty <laughs> so if if you ever do get a defect in something or you can just send them back but they look like really nice concrete boots they're steel toe so we're gonna try these in the concrete today see how they work out all right guys so I've been wearing these boots for a couple weeks now I've got my review at the end of this video so make sure you check out the whole video and see what I think of these boots at the end So we can do that side first. Put the, we'll put the board up.
this half, and then we'll just move him over. Yeah, we could start, yeah. Too bad. Um, we just be opposed. We just struggle with the see the rock, yeah, and I then know. the cream. That's kind of what we've been. Yeah, yeah. We didn't see that with say sand, even as crappy as it was. Yeah, I, I don't know why it does that. Definitely not. I, definitely not too wet, you know. No, that ain't an eight mile. Come on. It's not a. Other loads don't do that when we pour the same slump, so I don't, you can't just keep saying that's too wet, too wet, too wet. I'm sorry, Would you be I'm opposed sorry, to me going up on, on the dose of drink? Because it's like a quarter, maybe not a half. We can try that. We could try it. Yeah. I'll have them do that. I, no? I don't need to. I don't, I'm not saying I, you need no, to, but no, it might I, be interesting to see if they're more or less or... Yeah. I don't My know. My guess is it's probably less. Yeah. I, I think we're running higher than anybody. Um, I don't know. I, if I know you think my, that's too wet, then I've been pouring too wet for 40 years. I mean... I know. Yeah. I, I know that's what everybody's telling me, too. <laughs> I can't pour drier than that. I'm too old, you know. Then, let's try bumping it again. Try it. And let me know about the new water. Yeah, I mean, it has. I don't think that's been too bad. Yeah. Adjusting the stone 50 pounds. I don't want to go crazy. You know, I don't want to like 100 pounds or something. Yeah. Drastic. Just a little bit more if we can. Yeah. You might want to lower that down, I don't know. The other down. That a boy, Scotty. Scotty. Now you might want to turn the drum counterintuitive. There you go. He's getting it. He's getting it. Gotta get him to read my mind a little faster. They need like headsets. Yeah. They could just talk to him. True. Uh -huh. That's true. Probably could do that. Then he could hear all the bad stuff we say about him. <laughs> Yeah, pretty hot. Not as hot as tomorrow. I thought of them once. <laughs> I don't remember where we were, but there was a sale, a sale on overall. Yeah. Seems close. No wrong. On with the... Good, because my hammies were letting go right there. Perfect. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, you're okay. I think we're gonna need a little bit. You're all right. He likes getting dirty.
Give me that just for a minute. Swing that over here. Darren, stay right there. I'm going to give him another six or eight inches, Darren. He needs it. Right, Luke? She's never complained yet. You know what the best part is, Mike? I offered to do that same thing not 30 seconds ago. All right, I heard you. <laughs> Darren don't want to do nothing that you say, though. Wall coming up behind you, Darren. Big doorway coming up behind you, Luke. Oh, he's pretty close, ain't it? He'd be real close. It's just how close we were yesterday. I think we put three nags in. I think it's gonna be, yeah. Got it. I don't care what Brian says, you're okay, bud. <laughs> he talks behind everybody's back, too. He's pretty bad. Hey, guys. So I've been wearing these high C boots in the concrete for the last couple weeks now. Uh, they replaced some other boots I had that were all cracking on the bottom. And I was getting water and concrete up through the bottom of my boots. Now that I've worn these for a couple weeks, you know, I can tell you I really like them. The, the material they're made out of is a little bit softer than the other ones I was wearing and they're really comfortable to wear on your feet. The, uh, these ones have steel toe so they're, they're a little bit safer to wear on you know a commercial job site or something like that. And I mean just overall the price the price point on them is really really uh, inexpensive I think for uh, you know wearing a concrete boot. So I, I definitely highly recommend these if you guys want to check them out there's a link down in the description. And you can check them out. There's a discount code there too, so you can get a little bit off on them if you want to use them. But I'm going to continue wearing these, and I'll just continue updating you on it. But I would definitely check them out if you're looking for some concrete boots, guys. Oh, yeah. 32, 44 garage, two bay, flat floor, all 3,500 pound mix with fiber. Everything went in really good. This thing's gonna dry really good today. It's gonna cure up really fast, so probably let's see what time it is now. It's eight o'clock now, started at seven. Probably out of here by noon today, power trialing and sawing, so it's gonna be a good day. It's a Friday. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next one.